if I may take uh, three more minutes before you start, just to to give the announcement of a workshop that will be take that will take place in Catania at the end of October, and is organized by the Cosvita Laboratoire uh, and by the uh, University of Catania. It will take place in. Uh, and then the Scuola Superiore, which is an excellent school uh, for students of the other university. And uh, there's a computational mechanics of generalized continua. And, uh, but uh, you see that the, 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 the topic is very broad, so I think it can be of interest for everybody who's been here. Uh, shortly, the, the, what be we expected a limited number of particip participants, so it will be a, a, a workshop. Uh, the, sh the meeting, the, there will be five sessions, two in the, f the first two days and the one in the final day. Um, and uh, here is the, the uh, topics, the, the, the tentative topics of the four sessions. Of course, it depends also on, the, on what uh, the, 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 the participant will propose. And uh, there will be a very small f uh, registration fee that will allow for uh, uh, lunches and coffee breaks. And um, so, and uh, this, this is the, the, the location, this is the the place where the, so this, the school, uh, the, this excellent school is uh, located, about 180 to 100 students are involved in this, in this school, which is an, is an old uh, villa in Catania. And for the people who don't know Catania, uh, Catania is in Sicily just at the bottom of Mount Edna, which has been recently appointed as a world, uh, UNESCO World Heritage. And uh, Catania is a is a, an, an ancient city, it was a Greek city actually, uh, but it mostly has been built in the Baroque period, and, but uh, everybody can enjoy the surroundings. Uh, the, it's very close to Tormina, Syracuse, so since there are holidays after the, the, the meeting, you can stay a few days enjoying the neighborhood. The weather should be very good in, in November. So now we can start the time. Twenty minutes start. Let's uh, uh, Maybe you could tell us the announcements, and we will uh, send it through the mailing list of the. Uh, yeah, sure, okay? sure, sure. How do you do that? Uh, zoom. We stop. Okay, found it. So this is the, 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 the topic of the talk. Uh, I will start with some motivations and uh, then I will describe the, the random model I'm proposing and uh, and focus with the comparison with experimental results. So the, 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 what the I call is a mesoscale model, so it's, it's a, at the grain level. Uh, and uh, the idea is that uh, we have to use this model for uh, um, simulating, for analyzing some macro, some ma macro behavior. So this is a quite important for what I will say in the, in the following. I will just have a brief, brief introduction on the problem that we meet with concrete. Uh, this is some typical length scale of the phenomena occurring in concrete. You see, there's a very large variation between 10 to the minus 10 to 10 to the minus 2 meters. And uh, most of these uh, phenomena are of uh, technical importance. So we should try to analyze those, <coughs> uh, those phenomena. However, the structure of concrete is very complex. This is a, a very schematic uh, drawing. And on the left side, there is uh, the, the grain, the, the, the aggregates, uh, <coughs> some rock aggregates. Um, then there is a transition zone, 
which is composed by uh, heterogeneous and other uh, components, and then there is uh, other phases that normally we call the, the cement past or the mortar. Uh, how, however, uh, all these phases, uh, all, uh, uh, all these details form in different uh, in different moment of of maturation of of of, of, of drying of the, con the concrete and interconnect between them in a very complicated manner. Uh, the chemistry of the chem concrete is not completely known yet, actually. Uh, so, uh, um, uh, what uh, uh, what I will focus on this level here, uh, but. Uh, um, the, 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 what, I'm, what I try to, to say is that uh, using a mesoscale uh, approach, which is feasible from a computational point of view, is very, very limiting. Uh, we are disregarding a, a, a number of phenomena uh, that occur at other scales. Uh, <coughs> of observation, uh, concrete is actually a nanomaterial. Uh, one of the, the reasons, one of the motivations of this work is that uh, now uh, concrete is very popular in, 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 ambient, in, in environmental engineering uh, because it's like of, uh, <coughs> of reservoir for all the bad, all, 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 all the garbage that is produced in the world. Uh, people would like to use the, 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 uh, the, 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 the product of pollution uh, for doing something useful, and the, the first idea they have is let's use them as uh, aggregate for concrete. Uh, for instance, in the petroleum industry, uh, the, 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 the sand the, uh, all the, that is contaminated by oil uh, is, uh, uh, is put in some concrete block just to uh, avoid the, the danger that it can, can, you can give to the environment. Uh, uh, <coughs> and people would like also to use this kind of concrete. And so there are many investigations going on on the effects of uh, uh, inclusions, micro-inclusion or nano-inclusions in the concrete uh, <coughs> Mix in my, in, for instance, in my lab, but we won't show this. But we have, we have done some experiment, including some uh, particular polymers, in order to increase the ductility of concrete. Uh, <coughs> experiments ob obviously um, can be, are, are essential, but if one can have uh, some idea uh, of how to model on a, on a computational model to uh, to model the, 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 to predict. Uh, at least uh, the, 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 the properties of the mix, that could be, uh, uh, of course, much better, and this is one of the motivations of this work. Uh, <clears throat> another motivation is that some years ago I proposed a poroplastic model for uh, um, thermomechanical damage of concrete, uh, with I suppose more this, it, at the mesoscale, uh, but it uh, was composed, composed by just two scales, two phases, I mean, uh, uh, the fluid phase that was saturated in the model, and the grain. Uh, <coughs> the grain were studied in a completely uh, phenomenological manner. Uh, that, so one of, another, another motivation is that, is to improve uh, the modeling of grains in models like this one. So, uh, how, um, these are the ingredients of a, a mesoscale uh, modeling. Uh, we have to generate the, the mesostructure, uh, we have to discretize it numerically, and then identify the, the, the parameters. Uh, there is a large literature on this subject about concrete. I've just wrote down a few uh, papers. Uh, some of them use uh, two phase. Uh, uh, st um, media with interfaces, uh, uh, the transition zone, they use uh, like interfaces, so zero, uh, zero volume interfaces, or um, <coughs> other use just different particle size aggregates. Uh, usually the, the computation time to generate the um, <coughs> Uh, the, the random aggregate is very large, and it's also very complex, and, uh, and, uh, inc um, and also requires a lot of assumptions. Uh, further, uh, there are also 
difference on how particles are chosen. If, of course, if you, the particles are taken uh, sharp or rounded, uh, they, they can give raise, raise to a stress concentration or a more smooth distribution of stress. So uh, there's a large debate on what is the good uh, idea. Uh, then about the medical discretization, uh, for if you, one well, one school of thought is to discretize uh, separately uh, <coughs> uh, aggregates and the cement past, and uh, the, of course this is, is very costly. Uh, this allows, for instance, to introduce transition uh, uh, interfaces between the two phases. Or uh, recently, somebody uh, rigorous has proposed to use some. <coughs> Uh, in the in, in, in this, the spirit of uh, extended frame to to use uh, uh, free meshes uh, <coughs> that do not coincide with the with the, with the, with, <coughs> with the, 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 the boundary of the of the phases. Uh, then there are other models that are different from the one I'm talking about, like lattice model. So. <coughs> And then about continuum material, material parameters. Uh, in this kind of model, uh, a continuum material model is, used, is needed uh, because the phases are continuous, and that should include damage and dissipation. Okay, so what is the, the idea? Uh, the idea is uh, to try a very, sim a very simple, very very simple uh, uh, um, me um, meso uh, model. Uh, we just unify the, gener the generation of the mesostructure and the numerical discretization. Uh, that means we do not separate physically the components. Uh, we ge random generate at each Gauss point, sorry, each integration point of the uh, <coughs> Of the of the, 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 the representative volume element, uh, a different material according to the distribution of the, the following fractions of the of the components of the of the concrete. The volume fractions are very simplified. Uh, I will start showing the, the results uh, with only two phases, uh, which is the, the fine phase that I will call motor, which is everything is smaller than a certain dimension, and something, everything is larger, we call aggregate. Then the things can be, uh, of course, we can add more phases. Uh, and the, 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 the one fraction are taken, of course, from the mixed design. Uh, <coughs> but the, the important thing that uh, we are using nonlinear properties. So the, the continuum model for each phase is, a, is, non, is dissipative, is, is non-linear. Uh, we're using, a, for the mortar, a plastic damaging thermodynamical model that was proposed a few years ago, on, uh, uh, which is something schematically indicated here. Uh, there is a first, uh, um, <coughs> a first uh, for, for, for very low level of stresses, the behavior is linear. This is uh, not very good, but it's needed for computational means. And then damage starts to increase, uh, but then we the eventually will reach a peak. The peak is uh, the peak is uh, the peak stress is, is not predefined. It is a function of the evolution. So if you change the, the, the path, you can predict different peak stress for the same uh, uh, strain state. For instance. and uh, the, 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 the model is thermodynamical. It's based on an internal energy, uh, which is. Okay, uh, actually, is, is given by uh, is divided in two parts uh, according to the, 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 the sign of the trace of the deformation. Is uh, according to the uh, proposal by Cournier of a convex elasticity and a dissipation, which is the convolution of three uh, dissipative mechanisms. Uh, okay, well, just to say that uh, the model is for motor is quite accurate. Uh, a number of uh, parameters have to be <coughs> uh, identified, and those can be identified by simple tests, uh, compression, tension tests, and, but cycle tests, because we need damage evolution. Uh, <coughs> uh, okay, uh, that was done in the lab. Uh, um, we did a series of experiments on, on mortar. Uh, according to the uh, UEN European norm uh, that defines mortar 
uh, clearly. Uh, mortar is a, a combination of uh, cement, a certain kind of Portland cement, and a grain of less than um, well, one millimeter, 1.5 millimeter, something, which clearly defined by the norm. This is for the mortar. This is the, 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 start, the starting point. We did experiment on that. We got serial results, and <coughs> we, by fitting, the parameters, we fit the curve, uh, we, and uh, then we fit, fit the curve on, uh, and then we use the curve to, uh, to, 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 to check other kind of experiments, of course, and it, yes, so it seems to, to work quite good, not completely good, anyway. Uh, <coughs> the, for the, the rock, we would bust out in, in our experiments, uh, the experiments are quite com more compli complicated, so the, a much simpler uh, constitutive model was used, it's still damaging model, but very, very simple, with very few parameters, uh, because we could not identi identify many parameters, and also because it's less important also in the model. <coughs> and uh, then we started to model our, our aggregate. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, is just to see if increasing the number of point number of elements in this, uh, in this uh, volume element, uh, we converge somewhere it's, it's, uh, with a fairly small number of elements per side. We get a steady state uh, response. This is completely non-linear, so uh, this is the, uh, you can see the, 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 the balls <laughs> means different faces. Huh? So one is most, the other one is aggregate. <coughs> and one other, another, of course, check was to see uh, uh, would the, 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 the distribution of the of the of the aggregates, uh, the phases is, uh, is is done on the Monte Carlo basis. So we need a, a seed. So we see we have, we see that changing the seed and in, sufficiently increasing the number of elements, we converge to some uh, to some some. Sort of, um, this is for the elastic modulus, initial elastic modulus, and uh, the same is done here. Is the initial elastic modulus? Uh, actually, it's not the initial elastic modulus. The modulus at one third measured by, in the same way we measure it experimentally, so on the unloading curve. And this is done for three kind of, with the same mixed design, but with three kind of uh, cements, and uh, we get the same result, changing the seed. So this is um, convincing. Uh, <coughs> this is the simulation on uh, uh, the co a complete simulation on uh, a concrete sample uh, with this two-phase, just two-phase model. Uh, the second, the 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 the, 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 the plot in the center shows the uh, uh, the the so the, <coughs> the, 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 the the curve and also the unloading branches. Uh, it can be seen that, and, and the, uh, that the, uh, the, the comparison is pretty good up to a certain point, then it diverges a little bit. <coughs> uh, this is just uh, the simulation we done, were done with FIP, and um, these are the distribution of uh, um, like normal and tangential stresses at a certain time of, of, of the simulation, uh, very dispersed, of course. Uh, now, one thing, uh, one, one problem we found at the beginning. Uh, of course, the first thing we did was to uh, try just everything linear. So we tried to do everything linear, but let, 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 let's see what happens. Of course, given the, the randomness of the generation, uh, when everything is linear, we have a mixture theory. By, by basic mixture theory. So increasing the, uh, vo the volume fraction of all the module, elastic modulus of the aggregate increases linearly and dramatically also the, well, the, mo the young modulus of the uh, mixture, the, of the cement, of the concrete. And this is not true. Uh, everybody knows that the, the properties of concrete do not depend very much on the property of the aggregate. So this is what's wrong. Uh, so one first idea that I will, if I have time, I will comment later, was let's see what happens if we, we use larger uh, particles. We include larger particles, aggregate particles, inside the, 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 the volume like uh, is, is in, in the reality. Uh, so we did something like that, so just we put some places, uh, uh, concentration of aggregates with uh, uh, stiffer aggregates that 
they form some shield to the deformation. And it, it works. Uh, after, uh, uh, really, this uh, give us for the uh, uh, deform uh, deformability of the, the concrete uh, mixture uh, uh, some um, results are much more similar to, the, to that reality. But, however, <coughs> Uh, this, this seemed to, the, the, I didn't like this, this solution because uh, the, uh, the, I, I was very keen of the idea of having a very simple mesh generation, which is everything random. It's very very simple. Uh, we did the same the same uh, same um, numerical experiments, including uh, increasing the rigidity and the, the resistance of the aggregate on the nonlinear model. And these are the results. Uh, the, uh, in this case, when we use nonlinear models, so we have introduced damage, uh, the uh, uh, increasing <coughs> rigidity and the resistance of the aggregate uh, does not change dramatically uh, the properties of the concrete. Of course, it does something better, but this is true, <laughs> this is correct, but it's in the, in the correct um, scale. Uh, <coughs> So, uh, however, given the, the results we had found with this uh, cluster of aggregates, um, we also tried two other uh, uh, mixtures, a uh, triphasic system. One with, with the uh, uh, mortar aggregate and voids. So we included some voids that in the first case we did not include. And another one, we did this, this separated uh, coarse aggregate and fine aggregates with different properties. So the one is more with, with strength, higher strength than the other, and these are the <coughs> the, the, the results. This is the, the case with inclusion of voids, and this is the case with uh, the, 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 the the separation of the. <coughs> Um, coarse and fine aggregate. Now it's not very clear because as, well, these are just a representative uh, um, results, but uh, the one which fits best the result is this one. The one with, uh, with uh, uh, two phases plus voids. Uh, a very small amount of voids, 8%, which more or less is the, uh, the, 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 uh, the, 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 the porosity, uh, the apparent porosity of concrete. And uh, <clears throat> this raises a question, uh, actually, that I do not know how to answer now uh, for the moment, is uh, since the presence of void seems to enhance the, 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 the results in the sense that they are close, closer to the, uh, to, the, to, the, to the experimental results in, in the, the field of large deformation at least, uh, probably uh, there should be uh, a, 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 a still better model would be to include the, the, some uh, effect of a, the, a transition zone. Uh, in this model, however, transition zone cannot be included directly because we do not have to have a different a, 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 a separation of the phases. But it could be included with uh, another way, another uh, uh, mm, mm, with another model, which is uh, the embedded discontinuity that are used in fractional mechanics. And that is one of the things we are working on now. And the other uh, are uh, to test, of course, more complex state by a triaxial test. I have some results pretty uh, encouraging for, on biaxial tests, and uh, we are. <laughs> Pretty much recovering Kupfer results, so it's quite encouraging. And also to find, to, to test now, uh, to use this as a um, uh, say as a mm, uh, as a mic as a me meso uh, mm, uh, as a meso scale for testing some simple structural simulation like a three-point bending test. 